just closing in on uh, Calafisher now and there's quite a lot of waves breaking over this reef so I've got to get it perfectly right to get through. Loffy's up on the bow, he's keeping a lookout for me. More to starboard! Right, I think we're in the right spot now. Oh, there's someone. There's a guy sitting on the beach over there. Yeah. He's not waving back. Hope he's friendly. <laughs> this is your island. Yeah, yeah. Oh, good, good. Orioni. 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 Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We bought you a fish. <laughs> For you. Olioni is just drawing me a treasure map in the sand, and by his, his images that he's drawn, it looks like another yacht. He's drawn where, where my boat is, directly out here, but then on the edge of the reef where the waves are breaking out there, he's drawn another boat, but he said it's under the water. It looks like we've got a wreck out there. We'd better go dive it. Oh my God. Here it is. Look at this, the hull is still in one piece. I can't imagine seeing my boat on the bottom and amongst a reef like this. This wreck looks stable enough to have a look inside, but I'm going to have to be careful that I don't get hung up on anything. This is a book. It could even be a love book. I'm going to take it up to the surface and maybe you can explain more about this wreck. Every moment of the ship's life is going to be recorded in this logbook. I think it's in French. And although I can't read the words, I can, I can almost read it by the sketches that he's drawn. It really looks like these people got caught in a massive big storm. And that's the last entry in the book. There was a massive hole got punched in the hull, and, and that's where their boat lies today. And even though Olioni told me that these people are now safe, their dreams are lying in tatters at the bottom of the ocean. And that's heartbreaking. This really is a sobering reminder of what could be if I'm not careful. <laughs>